we've just got our hands on the first beta of iOS 12.2. Let's go ahead and see what's new. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and there is a lot to unpack in the 12.2 update. Starting off with Apple News. With the 12.2 update, users in the Great White North will finally be able to utilize Apple News without having to switch their region. It's available in both English as well as in French, though during the beta period it will not be updated as frequently and have as many features as it will when it finally launches with the full release of iOS 12.2. Apple News originally just launched in the US and has slowly been expanding to new countries over time. Next up we saw a lot of small changes having to do with the Apple TV and AirPlay and the remote control in the control center of iOS. So if we jump into Control Center, is now a full screen little widget that you kind of tap into. You can still change your selection there at the top, which Apple TV you want to control, and overall has a bit of a streamlined interface. Also within Control Center, we have a new screen mirroring icon. You can see it looks similar to what we see on Mac OS, but obviously it is no longer the AirPlay icon, but a new screen mirroring icon. Some users are also seeing a new AirPlay icon depending on which subject or which target they're AirPlaying to. If you do happen to be AirPlaying to your Apple TV from the home screen, there's a new control button there on the left tapping that brings you to that full screen widget to control your Apple TV. So quick controls for the Apple TV right from the lock screen. We jump back into our phone and open up the wallet app on any Apple Pay card that you have, whether it's the Apple Pay cash card or one of the other ones in here, there's a new latest transaction view. So you can see all these different categories here, they're breaking up by year, the recent ones there at the top, and if you're using the Apple Pay cash card, there's a new add money button right under the card, it makes it a lot easier to add funds to your Apple, Apple Pay cash card. 12.2 is bringing initial support for HomeKit televisions. The initial functionality is a bit limited with just input and power being controllable. You can also see this new button here has been renamed from allow speaker access to allow speaker and TV access, which is used to control who can play content on AirPlay 2 devices like your HomePod, or in this case, new HomeKit AirPlay 2 TVs, many of which that launched in CES earlier this year. Inside of Safari, any websites that are not using HTTPS are marked as not secure. We also have this new little glyph on the right hand side, that arrow, so as you're typing, it kind of auto-completes for you. It did that in the past, but now there's a new arrow icon, you can just tap that whole bar, takes you to that search term or that website that it's trying to direct you to. If we dive into the settings application and go to the maps category, there's a new subcategory inside of maps for climate, where there are toggles for both the weather and air quality index. So air quality index came with iOS 12. Now there is a toggle for that here inside of the maps settings. And if we actually go into the maps application in that lower right hand corner where we have the weather, we have that air quality index as well. It makes it really easy to see that based on location. If either of those you want to toggle off, you can now do so from within settings. Very easy to accomplish. Also within settings, we have another option for Safari. You can actually now disable access to motion and orientation information. So basically just allow that developer or that website to see which orientation your phone is and you can turn all that access off for privacy concerns. We also heard more rumblings about a premium paid version of Apple News that's been rumored for a long time now and we may be getting closer with iOS 12.2. So what do you guys think? What is your favorite new feature? And is there anything that we missed? If there's something that you found that we didn't include in this video, make sure to let us and everyone else know down below in the comments. Stay tuned for what's coming next in the beta 2. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.